Hello good people and welcome to the World Market Academy. In our today's session, we are going to talk about the economic calendar. The economic calendar is a trading tool which contains financial market information or news which has impact on price movement. It is very important as a trader to get to understand what this information is, how to access it, and how, what impact it has on price movement. And so, our discussion today will revolve around how to access, how to navigate and make use of the information provided in this very important tool. So come with me and let's see how it goes. To access this information or to access the economic calendar is quite easy. This information is out there, but different players will present it differently to you. This is the point where I say some players will make it easy for you to consume. Some players might ask you to subscribe to their website or their platform for you to be able to access the economic calendar. But many players out there will have you access from their website just by the click of the button. No charges involved. For my case, I work with dailyfx.com. So, how do I go about it? Just go to the website, type dailyfx.com, then it takes you to the first page. From there, you select the economic calendar option, as you can see on our screen. So, once you select the economic calendar, it will take you to the first page, as you can see. Then, at the top, you are able to see the options which you can select. The first one, as you can see, we have the time zone. You can select which time zone based on your location. You can select the country or region where you operate from, or you select all the countries where they have the products or the currencies you want to trade. Then we have the other section where we have the importance, or you're looking at the impact these news will have once they are released. So we have news with high impact, those we have, those which have medium and low impact. That's why you have the color red, orange, and blue. At the same time, you are also able to select the days you'd want to access this information. So, for example, today I've selected June the 27th, the information or the data for today. I can also select tomorrow. Then you also have options to select seven days or even 14 days from the day or say for example 14 days from today you are able to access the economic calendar data but for my case in most cases i like to access information which has high impact on the markets so we'll select here um, medium and low we negate those ones then we have the high impact data being displayed for us. Selecting the high impact data shows you what sort of information is coming in today. I can also select, say for example, tomorrow, what information is coming in the next seven days, having selected the high impact data, what you can see there happening for the next seven days. Then I can select specific dates which I would want to access. So what is some of this information which comes in uh, under the economic calendar. So we have information like inflation rates, interest rates, employment data, consumer price index or consumer purchasing power, and lots of other information which you'll be able to see once you access the economic calendar. There is one very interesting data which comes in every first week on Friday, and that's the US employment data. For example, the month of June, it was released on Friday the 2nd. So if you select that, you're able to see the non-farm payrolls. This is the employment data for the US. It always has a lot of impact on the price movement. We expect this data to be released on July, July the 7th. So if you select July 7th, you're able to see what sort of data will be coming in. Sometimes they provide the expected data. And with that kind of data, you're able to do your predictions, your analysis, and then set up your trades. So that brings us to the end of our discussion today and I believe you now know how to access the economic calendar, what sort of data is available and how you are 
able to use it. Kindly leave us a comment, subscribe, and click the notification button so that you'll be notified once we release our next video. Thank you and bye-bye for now.